Hey guys, and welcome back to Hacksnet. My name is Hacksaw Elite Skills. Well, it's twitchy really, but we are playing the part of Hacksaw Elite Skills. And last time we went around, I did a few missions uh, for CSEC. They got us a whole load of stuff, but we also opened up a bit of storyline and started looking for this dude, Bit. The guy who kind of enticed me into this world. Let's go to the uh, the contract listing here. I'm not sure if we're going to do any storyline today. I obviously have no idea if any of these are going to go. Project Junebug. Now that sounds like something that might, might end up being a bit of an incredible storyline. An incredibly delicate situation has come up, requiring the involvement of a skilled anonymous outside agent, willing to be responsible for some questionable actions to greatly help an individual in need. I mean, that sounds like exactly the type of thing I do, so let's get out of that. Whoa! We got an email already. Oh, music stopped. Ooh, we got synthy, synthy piano thing. Okay, that's cool. Project Junebug. Let's see what's going on. Hacker! This isn't a normal request, and we're not going to treat it as such. We've been asked to perform a euthanasian. Uh, what? We're going to kill some stuff. Obviously, we set... Uh, euthanization is, I think, the way we're supposed to pronounce that. Obviously, we set out a few others to dig out the data on it and a few from outside groups so as not to raise suspicion some time ago. And largely speaking, it's come back all clear. It seems this man in question, one Elliot Witt, is hospitalised in considerable pain and against his wishes has been denied the op option of death. Ah, oh, this, this sounds terrible. A failed attempt by his family member earlier to prevent this from, uh, from performing subsequent efforts to the member uh, possess this option. What? A failed attempt by his family member earlier has prevented them from performing this sub subsequent efforts until a member proposed this option. There we go. Okay. Uh, it seems that the peacemaker he is his pacemaker. Man, I can't read today. Let's try it again. It seems the pacemaker he is fitted with allows remote access with proper authorization, and they believe this may be an avenue to fulfill the request. Oh man, am I actually? I am actually going to go kill someone. Naturally, given the nature of this request, we can we can accept that you may not want to be involved. Reply with deny in your response. We will remove you from the project. If you decide to help us with this matter, you should know that it will likely take some amount of investigation and testing. It, given that, as far as we know, this has never been before attempted. Wow. We recommend starting with the target's medical record, identify the chip, looking for its manufacturers, and going from there. Well, that sounds like something that's going to take more than an, uh, a single episode to do, but we are going to try it. Let's get the uh, the project details here. Elliot Witt, okay, and we're going to go check out his medical record. So what we need to do, find the medical record, identify what chip he has, and go find the manufacturer. So here we go, medical record. Let's get in there. And admin access required. Okay, exit database view. That's fine. We're going to do a, a small probe. We know how to probe. Pro probing is a thing that we have done before. Wow. So we've got proxies. We've got firewalls. Let's start the proxy up. Are we expecting to get traced here? This is something we should find out. Oh, I wonder how we crack this one at some point. Obviously, we're not going to do it straight away. Okay, let's do the SQL uh, on... Oh wait, no. We need to we need to crack everything first, don't we? So I'm gonna hit an overload. Okay, that's going, and we're gonna do a solve. Not solve. Sorry, analyze. I, I remember where I'm going with this, and we're just gonna keep hitting analyze until we get further down. I, I believe the proxy stops us doing. Let, let's let's try it. Um, this web server worm. Let's let's start there. 80. Can we do that at the same time? Proxy active. Okay, that's fine. I, I, I thought we couldn't do that with the proxy on, but you know, it, it's a thing we've got to check. Love loving the fact that we're not getting traced here. Loving the fact that we're not getting traced. I thought that would have been a thing that would happen. Okay, we can solve this now. We've got lots of zeros. M E uh, med. Is it Kate? Medicate. Yes. Okay, there we go. Solve medicate. Ba bomb. Okay, we've done that. That's good. The proxy is working its way down, so let's get things sorted. The proxy should be there when we get there. Oh, man. Should, should have started up a second computer. I thought, ah, oh, I'm not going to need more than just, like, my computer and someone else's. <clears throat> Port incompatible. Oh, I did the SQL. Ha, ha, ha. 433. Okay, now we've just got to run through all these programs, which is fine. Like, we, we've done these things before. That's not something that we cannot do. Memory corruption detected. Uh, can we do that as well? We cannot do that as well. That's fine. Is there anything we can do as well? I'm, I'm just wondering what, what takes up least memory. You would have thought I would have remembered these things by now, but ha, I don't remember stuff. I have no short-term memory or long-term memory. I just don't have any memory. Just point that out. I do have a lovely cup of tea to get drinking on whilst I'm doing all these hacks, though. Uh, and then we want the SMT... 
overflow and we're going to go for the 225 port hopefully i've got the oh wow i was gonna say hopefully i've got the ram to deal with that and i did just only just now hopefully all we need to do here is go and have a look Looking is not something that is beyond my skills. I can look at stuff. You know, I, I point my eyes in the right direction. My brain decodes the information that's being sent there. Uh, port hack. Uh, what was the guy's name? Elliot Witt. Action euthanasia. Euth euthanization. <laughs> it's really hard to try and say that when you're reading it as well. Okay, so we are here. Information. I'm not look. Details administration records look up. Okay, let's search this up. Enter patient's name, Elliot. Elliot Witt. Maybe I should have just put the wit in. Uh, record lookup. Let's see what he's... Hey, cool. He's a B.O. Haha, <laughs> he smells. Uh, he's only 55. Oh, I'm not I'm not sure about this. Wait, 165? What, what is this? What's this business? Oh, days. How many days? 165 days. I was like, what? That doesn't read properly. Um, we are looking for a pacemaker chip. Where are we going to find that? One active prescription... Uh, this is oh look, he's in private hospitals in London. That's that's fine. We can deal with that. Pacemaker uh, connection idea. Oh look at this. Um, okay, so can I do notes? No. How, how do we how do we add note? There we go. Add this note. Um, pacemaker IP. Uh, we want two zero two dot this is going to be a little bit awkward just taking down all these informations okay documentation and notes before taking any action let's just remember to find any basically contract the manufacturer okay oh we can email this record to me I mean we could oh no, let's do it let's do it uh, specify address uh, no no I don't, let, let's cancel those let's carry on adding the note that's what we're supposed to be doing right Ethernet worked with bit. Okay, yeah, that's a thing. Um, where, where, where was it? Let's let's get back to the. Oh, I have gone and got myself completely locked up here. I should have just done what I thought I was going to do. Um, Elliot Witt. There we go. Did, did I type that right? Okay. So now in the notes, uh, we're going to go pacemaker. Uh, hopefully, I can type this all out. Two zero two dot six dot one four one. Dot two one nine. Okay, we'll add that. No command. I thought we were adding a, a note. Type in terminal. Maybe, maybe it's because I put uh, pacemaker. Maybe it's because I put the, uh, the, the the colon in there. Let's just put this in flat like this. Can I actually? Yeah, I can actually do that. Press up and just go delete that. Okay, that's a note. Okay, cool. Uh, now we also want to add another note for docs. This is 66.96. I could probably just connect straight to this one. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to press escape. Cool. No, I don't, I don't want to... How, how have we ended up in the note? I don't know, I don't know how this has happened. There we go. We're, we're back where we need to be. Uh, I want to... I am really making a hash of this today, which I suppose is all right. You know, who, who, who there we go, my database. Hash records are all part of what goes on here. Elliot Witt, uh, and I want to now connect to 66.96.147.84. Yeah, okay, we've connected to Killis Biotech. Kellis? Kellis Biotech? Client services, anyway. Uh, we have... Oh, I know, they're, they're, it's all the same stuff, okay. Um, security and cleansing, fireware and pen, uh, and patching, let's start there. This post details security functionality of the pacemaker for general operations and consultancy. The hard copy documentation requests another copy from support. Maybe. The firmware for this chip was written by Elliot so the Virgin Control and updates are handled through essential services located here. As only builds signed by their internal services using our key will run on the chips, no other company can produce working code for the chips without having them compile it. Issues with the remote man monitor software. Okay, so we might need to take this. How do, how do we... Uh, firewall... 111.1... Zero five dot two two dot one. 
Let's add that there because we might need to use it. Let's go back and read this other stuff. Securing clearances. Maybe we should have started at the top. Let's start at the top. Uh, is an internationally recognized, fully serviced, original equipment manufacturer specializing in medical cosmetic devices. From design to large scale production, Calaris is industry leading in the creation of medical grade hardware specializing in embedded micro, micro devices and operating equipment. So they make like tiny medical stuff with some chips on them. Standards are matched by our approach, which only accepts absolute reliability and stand, uh, standability because when it comes to your health, we refuse to compromise. That, that's good. I like that. Using this server. This reference server uses um, proprietary reference context technology and will only display content that relates to your registered active products. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you need to reflect your account details in our system. Don't lose it. Okay, so the IP address is specific for this type of pacemaker. That's cool. Uh, this post details the remote monitoring and update functionality of the 2.44 pacemaker. For general operations, consult the hard copy documentation or request another copy from support. I mean, we could request a copy, but I don't think we will. Uh, the uh, pacemaker is designed for patients that are considered high risk or need constant monitoring but unable to remain in hospital. The pacemaker can be conducted, connected remotely, providing the observer with real-time ECG data and some clerical update tools. Given the sensitive nature of the system, uh, this system is hard locked to so only accept binary update packages signed by the build server of the chips assigned software designer. So that's what we needed. The uh not the file. Yeah, was it the file? I don't know. Updates are generally only provided on a case-specific basis in which the patient may need slightly different settings to account for the natural changes in cardiac rhythm in case of a... So, like, we can go to the to the website and get something that changes the, the functionality of his, of his pacemaker, I'm hoping. Uh, just to make these changes possible without the need of further intrusive operations. Although the prior versions of the chip included tools for manually updating the settings, these have been removed for security concerns. Uh, and this current version only allows pacemaker behavior changes to be made via firmware patch, which can be done wirelessly. Hmm, okay. So, yeah, we do all of this. So it turns out... Oh, no, we didn't read this. So, uh... First, connect the pacemaker chip using the client's IP address. Log in as admin. Use details that would have been assigned at a pre case. In this step, is uh, microport system. That's fine. At this stage, remote monitoring will be enabled, allowing the user to view live ECG data. Oh, should we go and have a look at this guy that we're going to kill? A secondary software login must be performed to update the firmware using an authorized software manufacturer ident identification code. Mmm. Okay, so that's fine. So th this is the people that we need to go connect to. So let's do that. Connect 111.150.22.1. Okay, these, these are the people we need to connect to. Obviously, we're gonna probe. Here we go, another round of hacking in there. No firewall, no proxy, just straight up stuff. Okay, SSH crack uh, on the 22. Let's, okay, we're getting traced. I was kind of expecting it. Uh, SMT, sorry. Uh, what are we gonna do? 24. Five. We've got like a hundred seconds, so that that should be absolutely fine for anything we actually need to do. I wish I could remember which port. It's been a few days since I last logged in and did some stuff, so it's it's all kind of fading from me. I, I did mention how I didn't have. We're there. We're good. Yeah, I did mention how I didn't have the uh, best memory in the world. Web server eighty done. Yeah, now we just gotta wait. We just gotta wait with our uh, port hack ready. It's going to take a little while for these guys, mate. I, I do kind, kind of sometimes wish we could go off and leave these running to, I don't know, maybe pay some put a plate, some point to clicker or something. The point clicker has done a weird thing and it's uh, gone into negative numbers and I'm not, not sure why. I assume I just wrapped it round. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, who knows. Uh, that's it. We're all good. Let's, um... I have no idea what we're going to do here. Scan the network for starters. View those logs. Oh, man. Did, did we hack into something? We did hack in somewhere, didn't we? Uh, new folders, empty, assignment four. <laughs> this week we watched The Human Centipede. Oh wow, now, cool. The start of film, yeah, no, we're not, I'm not really bothered about that. Am I even into the right system here? Is this... This one, this is what we want. Uh, Catalyst driver, pace of firmware, okay. I'm tempted to go and come back. Look, we've got an app there. Human capital enhancer. Yeah, I, I am tempted to, to go and come back because that would, like, get rid of all this. How do we goal stop it? Progressively maximize cross-unit quality vectors. What, what is this? This is not what we want. 
uh, internal. As discussed in recent meetings, our support team needs a wildcard access to our systems before effective maintenance and updates when we call, to, uh, call out to the field. To achieve this, we're introducing a new e-admin. Uh, this account will be set up with full privileges and testing function. Ooh, ooh how, do I, how do I steal this? What's it for? Can I, can I do notes? Can we add a note here? I just want to steal this, really. Um, Edelon access. Um, we can't put a uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? A semicolon in, but we can go e a admin uh, <laughs> uh, pass. I'll just I'll just write tens eighty six. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna keep that because that seems like some in, some useful information that would be useful somewhere usefully. Um, tests. Test guide dot text. As part of our test cycle before running the unit uh, on a chip, a cycle check needs to be performed. Hook it up to the test station and run the cycle of firmware first. This just cycles through all valid outputs and times itself to check that it is hitting the times correctly. More of a hardware test than anything at our end, but it's helpful to pick up some subtle errors. After it's run, it will dump its data to the situation and you can go ahead and flash it. Uh, caution. Do not upload it to any deployed ready devices. So this is the one. Pacemaker, fuck, this is what we need. Yeah, okay. Pacemaker firmware cycle test. Let's try and steal that one. That one right there. SCP pacemaker. So that. Okay, we are copying. Now we need to go back and delete everything. I remember there was a server that I didn't quite do that for. But that's okay. That's okay. RN hash. Hash star asterisk. Whatever you want to call it. I oh, know it's not a hash. This is a hash. Um, <laughs> Okay, so we got all of those. Let's disconnect ourselves from this particular system. Wow. Now, where was it we were at earlier? The university medical records. Do I not? Ah, okay, that's fine. That, that's fine. I don't. I don't need to be able to get into that. Uh, we now need to connect to the pacemaker, right? I think we do. I think we do. Connect to the pacemaker. It is two zero two. Munch some buttons there. Two zero two dot six. Wow. Dot one four one dot. 219 okay here he is look at that beeping mm. we are viewing the monitor admin login username and password I think we got a little thing up here right I maybe 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 I got this wrong maybe I got this wrong maybe this is for something else uh, it was in a different folder so 86 failed okay um, so let's do a probe we know what we do here it was worth a check it was worth checking to see if it I don't think I have a medical services bit of software. Do I? Do I not? Okay, let's go home and have a look. We'll come back. We'll come back here. View file system bin. Um, EOS device scan? Maybe. Maybe that's the one we want. Theme change of the crypto deck head. No. I mean, maybe we need to start putting these into different folders. Can I um, create a folder? How do you create a folder? I have no idea how you create a folder in the console here oh look I found a, a server that has Edley on on it but this is not what I'm looking for what I'm actually looking for is matey's pacemaker again should we just try and connect uh, somewhere up here this one uh, I'm, so I'm not sure how we can get past this if I like probe and have a look remote monitor no so I don't know how to do that we're gonna have to go around and try and find the network education archives I don't think that's the one we want entropy test server and in invitation gauntlet I'm gonna have to have a look around and try and find I mean there's the asset cache is it gonna be in here probe system am I not admin here you would have thought I would have been an admin there. Let, let's go back. Let's log in. Let's see. Do I not have a login to use it? Okay. Well, maybe we'll come back at some point. Maybe we'll come back at some point. Okay, so I went digging and I found this little piece of information here. The one that I'm particularly inf interested in is login as administrator using details that would have been assigned as a per case basis by the client. This step is protected using Kellis proprietary microport protection software. Now we are currently on a Kellis server, so maybe it's on here. Let's do a, uh, we did a probe, didn't we? This, this is actually where we came from is here. No, no, we didn't. Okay, so how did I get on here? I'm like I'm just here. Let's let's go uh, CD double dot and see what we get. Um, 
<laughs> Insufficient privileges. Okay, let's probe this system. Let's let's crack it wide open. I'm fairly sure we've been here before, but let's do this. Okay, another another few seconds. I don't think it's Medicaid this time. That was the last place we were. Um, in fact, we've got no uh, B I G L. There there are definitely letters here. Oh man, we started with less time than last time. So. Uh, B I O G E L, the bio gel. Yeah, that, that sounds about right, actually. Oh, successful. Okay. Uh, we want to do the web server worm on 80. I'm hoping we can find this little bit of um, port software, medical services software. It's kind of what we're looking for. SMT overflow on the 20 25. Oh no, hiccups. They're not useful. Oh, there was a line there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, error. No, I don't want error. There we go. Um, come on, let me let me do this. Eleven seconds. Okay, disconnect, disconnect, disconnect. Can we trigger this? Is that a thing we do? Well, that was um, a hassle. That was a hassle. Okay, let's let's go back. We're we're on this one, right? Okay, uh, probe. Now, I'm fairly sure, yeah, look at this. We, we did a few things, there are a few things open, but this is all right. Wow, that those seconds got counted down pretty quickly there. I'm not sure what happened to make it so bad. SSH cracked is 22. I thought we were up at a high value. I don't know, I'm going to have to go back and look at that bit of video there and find out what was going on. Don't, don't keep giving me insufficient memory, I just want to get this done. Maybe we could have stopped the botnet. There we go, brilliant. Let's let's make our way in here, poor hack. I do want, oh, lots of caps. I do wonder what, yeah, what happened there. I'm going to have to go back and look. I thought I was at 60 seconds and suddenly I had no time at all. Okay, this is good. Oh, this is not where I want to be. CD double dot. Let's see if we can find something in the bin. No, the sys. Default boot module. No, it's not what we're after. Message board. Listings closed. No, config.sys. Uh, config caution. Oh, look, we found ourselves down at no time again. Uh, DC, boom. What's, what's going on? Where Where is the time disappearing to? I'm, I'm not actually sure. Um, all right, let's, let's reconnect. Is this... Okay, we should be fine just to look around now. We should be fine just to look around. I was kind of hoping somewhere using this server. This reference server uses... Uh, okay, all right. It, it, it goes straight to his particular place. But I was kind of hoping that we could find something in here about a new folder. That's ILC. These people who live in an apartment are connected to my wireless router. They must think it's super cool. Hackers breaking them completely unsecured network. Unfortunately, the connection works both ways. They have lots of horse porn on their computer. <laughs> Not what we're after, though. Not what we're after. I'm going to have to go digging some more. So, I know our episode's getting a little long here, believe me, I do understand, but I think we're going to comply and complete this contract during this episode. Out of pure frustration, I went over to the server that we've been trying to crack into and did a scan, because we forgot to do any scans. And what do you know, it's pointed me towards an asset server. So let's go and have a look in here. I think maybe we can find our way into a nice little bit of software that hopefully will enable us to get through this medical services. Now, we've got a firewall. The thing to remember with this is we can also do uh, crack programs whilst we're trying to get the firewall. So let, let's do all of those while we're at it, shall we? Once again, we've got our ridiculous um, trace on the go. Is this counting down quick? No, it's not counting down as quick as the last one. So I did go back and have a look at the footage. Oh man, that last counter was counting down super, super quick. Which, you know, is okay. I mean, about two a second. About two, two countdowns per second. Okay, we're getting down to the pass. B I G E L. Biggle, okay. Solve. Biggle, like that, right? Uh, solution incorrect, too few characters. B I. Oh, B. Bi oh, bio gel. Wait, we've been here. We've been here before. No, we haven't been here before. 
Biogel. They must use the same solve password on all of their servers, unless, uh, unless I've actually been here before and I'm just completely deluding myself, which you know, is also a thing that could very well happen. Uh, 25 for this one. We just gotta let these bits of software play through, which, you know, it's a thing we're getting used to here. I wish there was a way to kind of speed them up a little bit in these sort of later game scenarios, because I've been sat here waiting for these types of programs for a long time like just cumulatively during all of this I, I do wonder how how long it's been half the time I've been playing maybe a quarter it's not going to be half because a lot of the time I spend looking around port hack okay let's get this dictionary password business on the go it seems to be doing all right seems to be doing a-okay cool we are in let's go to the logs let's uh let's get rid of all those we, we don't need them there. Oh, no, no, no. Now, I'm going to have a look in the bin because I've got a feel... Oh. Oh, that, that was not what we wanted. Web page. Uh, this is literally web page. Welcome to my blank website. Brilliant. Production. Medical pack revisit. What, what is that? I have no idea. Catalyst. Port test. Oh, that's got to be it. Okay. SCP. Uh, KBT. Right, we're stealing that, and then we're going to read this. KBT is a utility made for testing and stressing the Coralis Medical Software, Kel Kelis Medical Standard Port 104. This tool can be deployed with the hardware package on request to test the device under scrutiny. It's designed to flood the port with traffic, including that of the outside sources, some of which the program pulls in itself. So obviously this should not be used on live devices, and they are tested lo by Kel uh, Kelis locally, applying unnecessary stress on components and codes, which the program is deliberately designed to do. It's not responsible. Hey, they take care in this distribution program. Okay. Okay, cool this this is good all right we we can definitely do that let's uh get our what is that just, just what even is that i don't know i don't know all right we, we've gone to the logs we're gonna delete everything out i just want to know what that that final last thing is uh there was nothing else i wanted to get here was there no nothing at all okay well let's uh dc awesome uh there's a few places we need to go and clean up like this place here uh, CD slash logs. I'm not sure if we can get to them or we're going to need... Uh, we can get to them. Cool. I wasn't sure if we had the admin processes still because I have actually left the program and come back. So that's all good. And I think somewhere else we definitely need to wipe the logs off is my own computer. Could you imagine? Can you imagine? All right, there we go. That's all that done. Now we need to go to Pacemaker over here. Uh, so let's go connect. Uh, 202. Can I... Can I do an autocomplete? No, dot six dot one four one. Oh, my, my screen is so big in front of my face that I can't actually look up here and look down there at the same time. Maybe I should just kind of back off a little bit. Admin login. Uh, we don't have a username or password, but we can, of course. Oh, look, probe. Ta da! <laughs> we literally just need the one medical thing to correct. So it's KVT, right? Corralis business transaction? I don't, I don't know what it is. Port test one zero four. What happens? Uh, we get nice little jittery lines here. They only seem to be in certain places. Oh, look, more are appearing all the time. So if we just keep stressing it, maybe, maybe we're going to be able to get our way in here. I'm also going to do a port hack because, you know, that's that's what we need to do after we have cracked a port, I think. Possibly. Maybe. Is, is this all of them? Pink noise? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, we don't have the memory for a port hack, but there we go. That's, oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, cool. Let's password found. Admin login. Push. No. Ad no. No. Admin access. Great. Okay. So now we need the CD double dot. Let's let's see what we've got. Here's the pacemaker active. Okay. Whew. Are we ready for this? Are we ready for? I can't even remember where I kept the folder. Was it firm? Oh, I've forgotten the name of the file. No. No. This is not. Oh, uh, this is not what I want to do. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm going to get this sorted. If you want to remotely patch this chip, upload a file to this folder using upload local path. Okay, so where I was trying to do SCP... Oh, I didn't actually put it in. Um, so, upload... I'm in the wrong file. Let's, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and sit in there. So, upload slash home slash... Oh, I was fairly sure pacemaker was the thing. It is. It's slash pacemaker file. There we go. That's what we want to upload. I don't know where it's going to go. Um, must connect to non-local host. Okay. Uh, connect to a remote host and then do this. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. This is exactly what we were trying to do. Connect here. We've got admin login access. So then we just... Can I, can I literally just do it from here? 
Okay, here we go. Transfer complete. Now, there is is there something I need to do to reinitialize it? That's the next thing. I can't see anything there. Uh, let's go back to the CDs. Uh, now, it's the DCs. I want the CDs. Um, and just in there, we should now have... I want that in there. How, how do I how do I make this a thing? If you want to remotely patch this chip, upload a file to this folder using upload. Is this not what we did? Okay, so let's get into this folder and try like that one. Okay, that should pop that in there. There we go. Cycle complete. Now, how do we actually? Uh, if it takes the files correctly, sign all files in this folder will be detected by the pacemaker software and can be nominated as the UI as a firmware patch in the UI if it detects them. So that's just like the UI is just the front face, right? User interface, yeah. That, that should be the thing. Default boot module dot text remote monitor. That's that's not helpful. Can we do a reboot? Rebooting connected system. No, that's rebooting my PC. Ah, oh, that's not what we wanted. Oh no. Well, here we go. Let's let's go back in and see what's happened. Eh? Okay, so I think I've got it cracked. We go into the actual monitor. I kept on thinking that this was the monitor, but it's not. This is the actual monitor. Firmware. Access denied. We need administration. Ah, oh, so here we go. Let's do this. I thought it was, uh, yeah, access granted. So why won't it give me the firmware access? Firmware administration access required. Log in first. Okay, so let's log in here. Uh, log in. Ah, oh, now do we have a second re-login is required to review and modify the firmware? Uh, of each ship, if you have lost your login details, contact your support program on our customer server. 111. Dot. Okay, all right, we can do that. Is that one we've got anywhere? 0521. That's this bit here. Uh, so, can we do the. Uh, what was it? E admin, and then the password was. I can't remember. I've got it on my machine. I've got it on my machine, but I can't remember. That, I, I went and did all that, and I've got it in my notes up here. That was absolutely ridiculous. I'm not sure what's up with me at the moment. So, view monitor, the login, not just straight to the firmware. Uh, e admin, maybe, and then tens. What's it gone? 86. 86. Does this work? Login failed. Ah, oh, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Uh, it sh might be E add, uh, like capital E, uh, capital E, capital A, min, tens, 86. Login complete. All right, yeah, there we go. That, that was the, one of the things we got wrong there. Administrate the firmware. We want that one. Um, activate this firmware. Confirm. This is going to go bad. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. I've, I've never killed anybody before. Well, I've kind of killed lots of people in games, but we're not gonna we're gonna gloss over that. In my world as a hacker, I've never never killed anybody before, so this is gonna be interesting to watch. The O2 is spiking and going back down. The beats are alright. Up where complete, okay. So now what happens? We're just gonna watch it go nuts, right? Alarm okay, monitor no, we're on the monitor. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. Let's um can we go CD slash logs? Because obviously we don't want Ellis to be led around. Oh man, look at this. Uh in his bed, if you will. We don't want these to all be here. We we want it to have but look like a accident, right? That that's what we want. Okay, let's have a look. Activate this firmware, valid firmware, let's do it. Uh confirm activation. Is this not what we did last time? Oh wait, 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 wait. Currently active firmware. Valid binary package signed by these guys. Doesn't actually tell me what it is. Okay, that's fine. Uh, can we just leave him? Is that is that a thing to be done? Um, okay, yeah, that's totally lost. Let, let's see if we can uh, reply. I'm done, question mark. Send. Is that mission incomplete? Okay, so there's got to be a way of rebooting it or something like that. Let's go to this firewall place as that's where we got the information from, right? So according to this, as part of our test cycle, before running the unit test suite on a chip, a cycle check needs to be performed. Hook it up to the test station and run a cycle checker to its firmware first. I don't know how we check it up to a uh, hook it up to a test set station, but I think we can go and try this cycle check. Um, so let's go to the logs. There's a lot of stuff here that I I just don't want going out into the real world, as I'm sure you can 
Uh, imagine. Now, is where is his pacemaker on this lot? Like, trying to connect to these guys, like, through the various IP addresses. A little, a little annoying. Uh, not, not that I can actually find it anywhere. Maybe he's back here. What's this one? Uh, no, no. View monitor. I mean, can we go, um, cycle check? I mean, is that... No, no command. Okay, I'm not... I just... I don't know how we then get this running. To CD? Let's let's go into here. It's the pacemaker. Can we can we run it from here? Is this a, a thing we can do? Um, cycle test. Was cycle test what we were trying to do? Cycle check or check cycle? I don't, I don't know. No, none of these are working. So I've put a second copy of this pacemaker cycle in. We're gonna activate it again. Confirm activation. Okay, this should just go through. Now, according to everything I have read, this should be it. That does include walkthroughs on the internet. Um, the only reason I've gone and looked at a walkthrough at all is because I thought this is it. And it turns out, according to all the walkthroughs, this is it. Okay, so, oh, there we go. Warning, warning. Okay, so let's go CD logs quick. Uh, that, I have no idea what I did to make that not uh, not work the last time. Obviously, I put it into the active folder, and that was not the thing we wanted to do. But there's all my logs disappeared. So let's have a look at the remote monitoring view monitor. Danger, danger! Um, it's going up and down. I just I just want to watch it um, not go up and down. You know what I'm saying? At some point, this is going to have to do something a little more final. It that sounds pretty final to me. That sounds pretty final to me. I, I think it's time for us to sit and think about what we've done here, guys. We've done both a good and a bad thing today. We've eased someone's suffering, but we've actually taken someone's life. It's a, it's a weird world that we live in nowadays, where we do things that society thinks is bad for reasons that we consider good. Craziness. Okay, let's get back to the logs. Not the logs, the Project June bug. Reply. <sighs> the deed is done. Dot, dot, dot. I feel dirty. <laughs> Send that out. Okay, bit. Hey! Yeah, this is a bit unorthodox, but I pulled some strings. You'll be the one that did the bit contract before, looking for what happened there. I'm after some more information. Okay, let's not worry about that. We'll come back to that next. But next, uh, but contract complete. The client of your recent contract has reported success! <laughs> Oh gosh, it's, it feels so bad. And is pleased with your work. Pleased is not the word there. You're now free to accept further contracts. Okay, thank you very much. And I will say thank you very much for joining me for this mortal adventure that we have engaged in today. Wow. I, I will see you next time where we're going to try and find out what happened to Bit. And we're just going to we're gonna put this behind us. We're going to be like, yes, we did it. It was part of what we did, but we did it for good. And I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!